Hello everyone, this is my fourth project that is Netflix movies and TV shows class study. So let's start. In project summary, we got a published statement. Uh, the, the published statement is in 2018, there is a report of Netflix which says that uh, Netflix movie TV shows are triple since 2010. So uh, let's see. And we this is true or not, or we are exploring other insights also and from Netflix data sets and clustering similar content by matching guest list features. So what are the methodologies we used here? Here, at first, we are finding some missing values in our data sets. Then we are trying to analyze each of the columns, each of the attribute, important features from our data sets. We found, at first, we found some important words which are frequently used in the title, like love, man, world, story, life, Christmas. Also, which we, we are uh, trying to find some important directors that are mostly direct movies in Netflix, like Raul Compass, John Sutter. Also, we are finding some popular actors in Netflix like on Kabir Khan's uh, most popular countries which are using Netflix that's what also we found there and also we are trying we are found finding the top rated movies which are the top rating movies get and what are the important durations uh, Netflix movies are used or TV shows are used we can also see the uh, how year by year Netflix grows that we can also see from these projects in text analysis process in we are using various things that we are removing punctuation stop words so that we can uh, get rid of unhelpful part or noise from the data sets count make vocabulary using count vectorizer we are also using text normalization process using streaming and also transform text from textual data set to numerical data to fit the machine learning algorithm for prediction we are using tfidm vectorization to do this to get things and through the, all, all of these we are we are getting some important top words from the description vocabulary we are also getting top words from the study. After all of this, we are applying different clustering models like KMIN, theoretical agglomerate clustering, DB scans, and where we got the best cluster arrangement. We got the optimal number of clusters equal to three. Then after creating all of these, we are creating recommendation system based on description and general. And through these, we got best movie recommendation. So all of these things we have done here. So I'm very interested to explain all of these things. So we are discussing our problem statements at first. Uh, so according to the reports, the TV shows are tripling in 2018. So we are very eager to see these things are true or not. And also we are looking for all other insights from the data sets. In this project, we are doing exploratory analysis, dealing with missing value data training, pre-processing, TFID and selecting the approach. We are using a five clustering algorithm and conclusion. So so what are the attributes we are using uh, using here? So ID, that is the unique ID of the every TV shows type. Here are the two types, movie and TV shows title. What is the best title of the movies or the what are the frequently used words in the title? We got from the title column. Cast, what are the top best actors uh, used by Netflix? We got from this column. Country, which are the best countries uh, who consumes Netflix contest most? That we got from the country column. Data date, date, date from data date column, we got various things like uh, when the top content released in which month, top content, how year by year Netflix grows, all of these things we got from data this year, this kind of column ratings, what are the top rated movies uh, that we got from rating column duration, what are the total duration of movies or TV shows in Netflix that we got from duration column, then last but not least, list study. From list column, we create various genres and from that we can categorize our uh, popular genres also. So at first we import our libraries, then load our data set, then we look at data set, and we can find that in our data set there are 777,787 rows and 12 columns. From that one is integer type and 11 is object type column. We can see that there are no duplicate values in the data set, but there are missing values in the data set. There are 2,389 null values in director, 718 in cost, 507 in country, 10 in data rate column, and 7 in rating column. So let's visualize our missing value. We can see the same things that how missing values are distributed in various columns. And there are also unique values in data sets. So, uh, our variables, yeah, I am discussing about variable earlier. So, ID, type, title, director, cost, country, data, 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 rating, duration, distribution, description, all of these are very important variable and it is used for exploratory analysis process in next part. So, now we are straight moving to our EDA part. At first column is type column. So, from type column, what we get here is are the two types, that is movie and TV shows. So, we can see uh, movie counts are five more than TV shows, 5,372 movies and 2,398 TV shows. If we visualize this thing, that movies in Netflix are 69%, 31% are TV shows. If we move on to the next column, that is title column. For title column, what we get? We get that love, man, all story, life. It is a very com common word in titles. And there are Christmas is also a very common word in title. So it defines that maybe most of the movies or TV shows released in Christmas. That's why Christmas is very common word in title. We can see that. Next, we move on to the director column. For director column, we what we get? For director column, we get that 
Raul Campbell Jan Sutter Marcus Robbie Jai Karas these are the most popular director in Netflix me as Netflix is US based company so maybe that's why uh, they are the most popular director in Netflix in cast column then we remove the null value of the directors also cast column in cast columns we remove the null value of the cast then we found the top 10 actors on Netflix so top 10 cast in Netflix we found Anupam Kher Sarukh Khan are the top cast in Netflix followed by Nasiruddin Salam Puri Akshar Kumar Anupam Kher we count is 40 Sarukh Khan we count is 35 nobody is near to them in terms of movie count in Netflix they define the Netflix papers both of them very much in their movies next five country country column in country column we found the top 10 countries in Netflix United States is the top country which consumes Netflix content most. And India comes in second followed by UK and Canada. Yes, Netflix is the US company, so it is natural that US uh, comes first uh, to watch Netflix. In data, next is data red column, from data red column, we create uh, year, month, date, and then we can see that 2019, year by year, movie count is increasing, that it defines the sustainable growth of Netflix also. <coughs> 2018 has the highest movie count in Netflix column by 2017, 16, 15. So next column is release year column. So in release year column, we found we try to find out what are the contents released in each year. And here we are finding various things. At first, we can confirm that Netflix report, which we are discussing about earlier, that we can see number of TV shows are above tripling in 2018. So that Netflix report is absolutely true. And we can also see that total content in Netflix sharply increased after 2015. This may be because internet evolution in all over the world, including India. Uh, and we can also see that uh, TV shows are suddenly decreasing in 2018. This shows people interest of TV shows may be decreasing, and people interest in movies are increasing because in 2020 movies are more than TV shows. So that's we define that people interest in movies are increasing in recent times. Rating in rating column, we are we can see that TV MA and TV 14 are the most rated. TV MA is 36.8 percent rated. TV 14 is 24.8 percent rated. So most of the conflict. Content in Netflix are natural content we can see. So from this we can conclude the natural content are the most popular among consumer in Netflix. So rating distribution by content type. If we distribute the rating, then we can see the same thing most of the movies and TV shows are rating TVMA. It's natural content. For the younger audience, we can see some opposite things. There are slightly more TV shows than there are movies. So maybe younger audience are prefer TV shows than movies. Nine duration column. In duration column, what we got in duration column, we got that from the KD plot. Most movies in Netflix have 70 to 120 minute durations. And if we analyze the TV shows, then we can see that most of the TV shows are one to two season long and very few shows are up to five to eight season long. Next, the listed in column. In listed in column, uh, through listed, using listed in column, we are creating genres. And then we can find the top genres on Netflix. In top genres, we find international movies, dramas, comedies. These are the top genres in Netflix. And it is, it is in all over the world. So, <coughs> TV thrillers, TV thriller, TV shows, classic and cl so these are the very bad genres and almost no popularity. Even though the United States has the most content available, it looks like Netflix decided to release a ton of international movies. So we are creating genres from the listed in features. Then we are country versus using country country wise trend analysis. We are doing country wise analysis and country versus genre trend. What we found here, country versus genre trend, we found various country and their preferred genres. And here we found that international movies are the most preferred genres by all of the countries, almost all of the countries, as <laughs> But interestingly, US people prefer drama comedy genres more as Netflix, Netflix is a US company, so they do not prefer international movies much in Netflix. But but for most all uh, but all over the world, most of the countries prefer international movies in Netflix than anything. Else. In country versus rating, print analysis, what we got, we got TVMA is the most popular rating in Netflix in most of the countries. And TV14 is the most rated in uh, in India and China. So we 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 can uh, define from all of these things like the mature content, movies quality. Netflix should increase this so that in that way their business opportunity and profitability may be increases because most of the people from all over the world likes TVMA and TV14 contents most. If we do country versus type trend analysis, then we can see that uh, generally countries prefer movies over TV shows in Netflix, maybe because it has more movie count. It concludes that expand their businesses more, Netflix should produce more TV shows and must increase the quality of movies as it is their most popular type. So next is what, which month preferred by Netflix for movie release. So from the analysis, we can see that uh, net, December month released most content in Netflix followed by October, November, and January. So from this, we can conclude that Netflix target Christmas, New Year time most probably for their content promotion. At this period of time, all over the world, people are in festive mode selling into country like UK, US, France, Canada targets this time for release relaxation. So that's why maybe Netflix targets this time, December, November, October, January this month. And let us suggest that this tactic positively impacts their businesses also because year by year their business grows, their content grows. So a new customer also enjoys their content. Now from EDA, we move on to our pre-processing of the data and NLP before clustering. So here 
at first we are removing punctuations and stop what because punctuations help uh, removing punctuation help us to get rid of unhelpful part or noise of the data sets removing stop words also doing the same and so after removing punctuation and removing stop words we are using count vocabulary items uh, using count vectorizer so count vocabulary item also is a very important step of nlp before uh, text normalization process of stemming we call it extract important most frequent uh, used words from particular column here we use description uh, uh, and from description using count vector vocabulary using count vectorizer we are creating dictionary so here we are creating dictionary using count vectorizer and then we are creating a new vocabulary that is up after some time it is used for stemming or text normalization in text normalization process here we use stemming so why we use stemming here as stemming uh, and let us standardize words to their base stem irrespective of the inflections and it helps us to uh, to simplify the process and helps us in the clustering also so to get best result from text normalization we use stemming here because stemming is the most popular process and it simplifies the process easily that's why we use stemming uh, after using stemming after using stemming we are using text vectorization text vectorization uh, is a very common process and it is a process where we convert we transform our text documents into numerical features or meaningful representation of number which is used to feed machine learning algorithm for prediction here we are using tfid vectorization we, why we use it we use tfid vectorization because through this uh, tfid vectorization we get the more important word and less important words so that's why we use tfid vectorization and after using tfid vectorization in our description column we got the top 15 most occurred vocabulary and here we get Seref, Orai, Lucas, these words are coming again and again. These are the top words from our in vocabulary from the description. So next we create a length description column and uh, store that all of the value. So after that, we are using same process in our listed in features, we're removing punctuations so that we get rid of unused word or noise data set. Then we count vocabulary item using count vectorizer process. And here our column is listed in. <laughs> next we are create vocabulary, then use stemming for text normalization process. Next, we used our TFID vectorization process after the, all of these things and use streaming and TFID vectorization process of all of these things. And after doing all of these things, we get the our most important words from listed in or most frequent words from listed in that is TV, thriller, teen, talk. These are the most frequent words we got from listed in feature. <clears throat> Next, we create our uh, length listed in column and store all the data there. So after doing all of this NLP or pre-processing our data set, now we are ready to apply our clustering algorithms. Here we are using five clustering algorithm, and that is uh, K-means, DBSCAN, ELBO method, and uh, agglomerative clustering, hierarchical clustering, or dendrogram, all of these five things we are using here. So what clustering does? Clustering means, clustering means the process of organizing objects into groups whose members are similar in some way. So when the data points are similar, then they create clusters, similar data points create clusters. Like in pictures also, we can see same things. So at first, this is how this course. We are using this clustering. <clears throat> and here, you can see that we get the base score in every cluster for n cluster equal to 2, n cluster equal to 3. We are getting base score. All of the cluster uh, and similarity score range is between minus 1 to 1. That means score 1 denotes the base cluster, base meaning that data point is very compact within the cluster. That is, it denotes the base value. If that uh, value is minus 1, then it denotes the over value. If value near 0, that denotes the overlapping of cluster. So here, you can see all of the data uh, points for all of the cluster for all in value. Similarity score is similarity coefficient, coefficient is good. So uh, now we have to find that what are the best clusters, and we can find that in in our visualization part also. That for every value of n, similarity coefficient is good, and so we are moving to if elbow method. In elbow method, it is very popular method because it determines the optimal value of k, and means uh, it actually it is. Here we use the sum of square distance. We choose an ideal value of k based on distance between data points and then assign cluster. So as you can see, after k equal to 3, car gets linear. It means k equal to 3 is the base cluster. So here we can found that our number of cluster equal to 3. As n equal to 3 also, we get the base similarity score. And in elbow method, also after k equal to 3, we see that our car gets linear. So from that we can find that k equal to 3 as our base cluster. So we found that our number of clusters equal to 3. So now we are using 3 clusters in our data set. And then we are using our DBSCAN method. In DBSCAN method, I are using for 
finding the shape and size of the large amount data and identify noise and outliers. Here we can identify that the purple points are noise of the dataset. Noise of the dataset means the data points that have no pattern and not accepted by any cluster that are called noise of the dataset. In fourth and fifth also, we are using dendrogram and agglomerative clustering algorithm. So in dendrogram also uh, is branching diagram. It is a branching diagram that represents the relationship of similarity among group of entities. So here you can see the distance. You can see the distance between uh, height of the joint will be the distance between those clusters. So this is the height of the joint and this height of the joint is the distance between those clusters. So through dendrogram, we can identify these things also. In agglomerative clusterings is also a most common type of hierarchical clustering where you use group of objects of similar entities. So this is also the visualization of our agglomerative clustering. So this is our five clustering type and we found that our, we, we, we got three cluster, based three clusters through this uh, all applying all clustering algorithms. So now we are moving to our recommendation system. So here uh, at first also we remove our stop words, then we use TFI DM matrix by fitting and transforming the data. Here we use the description uh, column data and then we are finding TFI DF matrix shape. And we are now just finding TFI DF score. Then using count vectorizer, we convert a collection of test document to matrix of token counts so that we can uh, tokenize use tokenization process. And you next we are doing TFI DF transformer and transfer a count matrix to normalize TF or TFI DF representation. After doing this, after doing this, we are trying to find our IDF weights, lower the IDF value of a word, the less unique it is to any particular document. So next, all after doing all of this thing, uh, we are calculate going to calculate cosine similarity by SQL and pairwise package. Cosine similarity, why it is important? Because <clears throat> it is important because through this process, we are trying to find the similarity of that particular uh, movies. If we're going to watch any movies, then what are the similar movies we found through this process? So how the, it is calculated? Because it is equally and distance pairs in correlation, cosine similarity. And here, cosine of the angle between two vectors projected in a multidimensional space to find out how similar the documents are irrespective of the size. So here, the smaller the angle, the higher the cosine similarity will be. Now we are trying to visualize all of these things that here also, we are create, trying to create a recommendation model using cosine similarity. And at first, our first movies is India Jones at the last visit. Here you can see our top recommended movies. These are uh, the value is 2.24468, So the more the value is nearer to one, that is most recommended. And for Avengers Infinity War, you can see the same things. So you can see that for Avengers also, the first movie, Avengers is Marvel production movies, and the first movies that top recommended, 0.2080, which similarity value, it is also Marvel production movies. So that's why maybe it is highly recommended. <laughs> in next in, in next thing, we use Jinners for recommendation. And here also we use same process like previous one. Here also, uh, if we get, give the Indiana Jones and the last question movies, we can see that we get top two recommended movies with similarity 1.00. That means it is highly recommended. And we, we can see that these top two movies are also from Indiana Jones series. So maybe that's why it is highly recommended. And for the Avengers Infinity War movies, we can see our top movies also. And here also the first movies is from Marvel production movies. So both of these equivalent systems suggest the best movies in Netflix according to our recent interest. So it will definitely increase watch time contributions and hugely positively impacts Netflix businesses with more profitability and business opportunity. So what are the future scope of these projects? We can have done more research on recommendation system. We can integrate Netflix data set with our data set and project more insightful and clusters. We can do more cross source cluster analysis and we can get more insight and analysis from the data sets. So what are the conclusion of this project? So from this project, we got uh, 2,389 million null values, 718 in cars, 5,507 country, 10 in data sets generated in column. We can get all of these null values. After analyzing columns, we get 69% movies and 31% TV shows. Uh, these are the other type distribution and we define that our movies on Netflix are, have high demand among people in recent times. So Netflix should focus more on good quality movies. In title column, we got Love Man, World Story, Life, Christmas. These are the most frequent awards we found from in title. Maybe most of the movies and TV shows released in Christmas. That's why Christmas is in title frequently. After analyzing director column, we got Raul Kempa, John Surat is the most uh, best director and they got the most of the movies in Netflix. Onupam K, Sarukh Khan, these are the most popular actor in Netflix. We found this also. From country column, we found United States stand out top in Netflix in American company. India comes in second. The after another data column, we got a 2018 as the highest movie counts in Netflix, followed by 2017, 16, 15, etc. And we can also find another thing that um, that 2010 report, 2018 report that in 2018 movie TV shows are triple. That reports are also true. We found uh, from our analysis. We can see total contents sharply release after 2015. 
it may be called entire revolution uh, in india and all over the world in 2020 movie count was higher than tv so tv shows content has subtly decreased around 2018 this shows people interest towards movie more in netflix in recent times after that the rating column we got tv m2014 is the most rated in all over the world and tv 17 rating uh, rated rating is more in tv shows so maybe maybe young as people like tv shows more than movies uh, from duration column we got 20 to 120 minute is the many duration movies are based in netflix and one to two season tv shows are most in netflix also from listed column we create genres and and from genres up to analogy genre we got international movies dramas comedies are top genres and international movies are like from all over the world in netflix from country wise genre trends we are seeing the same things from all over the world international movies genres are very popular mostly all over the world they like it and us people like dramas comedies these genres uh, contents mostly from country wise rating trend from tv ma tv 14 is the best uh, best rated tv ma is so mature content of netflix are popular and liked from all over the world we can see that from analysis from country wise type we found that people are preferred movies over tv shows mostly from all over the world and you can see this uh, december month release most of the content in netflix maybe because of the christmas uh, or new year time in european countries they are they are in festive mood maybe that's why december month release most of the content in netflix so in text analysis and data processing process yeah, we remove a uh, punctuation stop word at first and to remove to reduce the noise of the data set and we count vocabulary item using count vectorizer which create dictionary of the most frequently used important words uh to normalize the set we use stemming to get to test uh, text vectorization process we transform text into meaningful representation of numbers and which is further used in machine learning algorithm for prediction here we use also tfid vectorization as it contains information on the most important words and the less important ones as well so if i look at these words are top in vocabulary present in description top vocabulary uh, and uh, two three to the team talk these are top vocabulary present in listed in data we can find that these things By applying the similarity score method for any range cluster on data set, we got best score for three cluster. And also by using elbow method after k equal to three, carb gas linear, it means k equal to three will be the best cluster. So from elbow method or similarity score method, we can find that k three cluster number is equal to three. It is the best. Uh, from DB scan clustering, we found that uh, we can find the shape and size of the large amount of data, and we can uh, identify noise of the data also. So applying different cluster, k means higher than elbow method clustering DB scan. Uh, we dendrogram. we got the best clustering arrangements and uh, in recommend system uh, we based on description and general we got best movies according to our recent interest uh, for example if we if we, if we take indiana jones and last crusade movies first two results are highly recommended and those are also indiana jones series movies so it will definitely increase watch time contribution and impact it will businesses with more profitability business opportunities so this is my project uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity